Join Michael Voris this April as he goes down under to Australia for the Charity with Clarity Tour. Michael will be speaking in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Canberra, and Wagga Wagga. For all the details, just go to the link. Benedict XVI is not taking problems with the liturgy sitting down and demanding an explanation. United States bishops are saying no to an unjust law and telling the faithful to disobey. And for atheists in America, the numbers just don't add up. Those stories and more just ahead on Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Wrong rubrics. Pope Benedict XVI is ordering an investigation to determine if the neocatechumenal way is a violation of the divine liturgical teachings of the Catholic Church. The pontiff has written a letter to the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, expressing that there is a problem of great urgency for the whole of the Catholic Church. The neocatechumenal way celebrates Mass in a fashion that suggests it to be a meal rather than a sacrifice as portrayed by this video clip we found on YouTube, as the congregation sits around a large table as though ready to eat a typical evening meal. The neocatechumenal way has been a center of controversy ever since it started in 1964 and is now a movement in the church that has millions of members across the globe. The right even has an influential presence in the catechism departments of some Catholic colleges, personified at Franciscan University in Ohio, for example, by Ron Bolster. Director of Catechetics for the University. Duty to disobey. Bishops in the United States are coming forward to remind the faithful it is an obligation of faith to fight Obama's contraception mandate and other unjust laws. Their recently released statement also mentions laws forcing Catholic charity institutions to adopt children out to homosexuals or shut down and says that when facing laws that promote injustice, it is a duty to disobey them. The Bishop's Conference says, quote, No American desires this. No Catholic welcomes it. But if it should fall upon us, we must discharge it as a duty of citizenship and an obligation of faith, end quote. According to them, Catholics must take action, fast and pray. Priests, bloggers, producers, writers, and other communicators must also speak out forcefully to defend religious freedoms. Bishops will also be organizing a, quote, fortnight of freedom in which bishops throughout the country will organize events supporting religious freedoms. <clears throat> While Catholics are stepping up their fight for freedom in the United States, atheism intensifies its bullying. The atheists of the Freedom From Religion Foundation are trying to stamp out prayer in schools across America with letters threatening legal action on a massive scale. According to the Alliance Defense Fund, such letters have gone out to 400 school districts in Mississippi, Louisiana, and Kentucky hoping the schools will buckle under the pressure in order to avoid a lawsuit. It is important to note that with over 313 million people in, in the United States, 51% identify as Protestant, while 25% of the population identifies as Catholic, making the Christian population 76% of the American population, or 238 million people. In contrast, the Freedom From Religion Foundation claims to have only 17,000 members world, nationwide, but seems to be trying to use threat of legal action as a means to compensate for their extreme lack of majority in the social war they are waging on Christianity. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Homosexual activists force priests' resignation. You may remember that Christoph Cardinal Schonborn, Archbishop of Vienna, changed his mind after first siding with Father Gerard Svierzek's decision not to allow a man in an open homosexual partnership to sit on his parish council. Schonborn reversed his original decision not to allow the homosexual man into the council after he had lunch with the same-sex couple, but the cardinal refused Father Svierzek's requests to meet and talk about the situation. 
that the priest is now submitting his resignation from the parish over the decision, asking to be reassigned as homosexual activists are calling his resignation a victory. New terrorist magazine. If you're an Islamic extremist, let your imagination soar with Al-Qaeda Airlines, the latest magazine giving you the most up-to-date methods on how to terrorize society. If you can believe it, the Middle East Media Research Institute recently unveiled the publication's first issue, 73 pages devoted almost completely to the uses of chloroform and how to make it yourself, written by a bomb-making expert. The focus on chloroform, according to the author, is meant to teach the reader about its various uses in jihadi operations, manufacturing poisons and deadly gases, assassinating enemies, and supplementing explosives. The head of the House Homeland Security Committee says the publication, quote, underscores the growing threat from radicalization within the Muslim American community and lone wolf terrorism. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about the real human cost. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. Knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is more than saying, I believe. Learn about Catholicism and become a premium member of realcatholictv.com today. Because understanding the price paid on the cross is worth more than the cost of a subscription.